Hello, recording another session on Blitz Tactics. I think I'm going to talk about it from a slightly different perspective this time. It might seem pretty similar. I don't know if it is, but I thought it might be an interesting approach, which is looking at each position, what do I want to do, and then how can I make it work? So as an example here, our bishops are attacking each other. Their bishop on c4 and my bishop on f1. What I want to do is just take, but it's defended. So one instinct is, how can I drive away the defender and then take? And I can't really drive away the knight on e5, and even if I could, they could interpolate bishop takes f1 first. But what I want to do is take, so how can I make takes work? Bishop takes, knight takes, now this knight on c4 is going to be a really vulnerable piece, and I can play queen d5 check and fork it. So each problem I look at, and I'm going to do the first one, I'm going to go slowly and not score very highly, and then I'll try to go faster, but each one I'm going to say, here's what I'd like to play, and then try to justify it or see what understandings that gives me about the position that hopefully lead me to the solution. I'm going to take on c4, check, and pick up the knight. Here, what I want to do is take the bishop on g4 with my knight, and indeed I have two attackers and they only have one defender. What I would like to do here, and the kind of things you'd like to do, you notice a vulnerable king, maybe there are checks, maybe there are undefended pieces, there's only one undefended piece, black has the bishop, this should already start leading us towards our goal, maybe their queen is far in our territory and we can think about trapping it or some other piece, but here the bishop's undefended, the king is on the open, I can play check and fork king and bishop. Now what I want to do is attack the vulnerable king. I could take the knight on e4, but my rook cuts off f7 and f8, so I only need to deliver check for checkmate, and indeed I do have a checkmate. Now here, again, I'm noticing the king is vulnerable, and their unprotected piece in my territory is the rook. I'd like to attack the king, and I see a way that also attacks the rook. All right, here their king looks very vulnerable. This bishop on h6 is a real cue that it's weak, and the second cue is that my rook can come to the end, so I will play it there. Now, here, I want to take and checkmate, and I can. All right, their queen is now lined up with my rook. That makes me want to move the bishop away. Uh, the best place to move the bishop is, of course, going to be where it has a check, so they have to respond, and then I can take the queen. Here, I am threatening e2. I am threatening c1 and I can look at knight c2. Knight c2 seems well covered, so I kind of dismiss that first, but what I really want to do is win one of e2 or c1, and the queen defends both, so I can. Here, their rook and queen are lined up, everything's defended. The one thing I'm immediately noticing is that their king is vulnerable to checks. I'm not sure where that's leading. So the second thing is I would like to not get mated. And if I'm, they're threatening queen h7, checkmate. And just about the only way to stop that is rook h8. And once I notice that move, I see their queen cannot stay defending their rook without sacrificing itself. So I'm just going to win the queen. All right. So I notice their rook is a bit vulnerable. I notice their c1 rook's also unprotected. Uh, their e5 knight is protected. But my first instinct is, if I move my bishop, I have a discovery on their rook. That doesn't lead to much. My second instinct is, that does lead me to think about their rook and notice it doesn't have many squares. It doesn't have any squares on the 8th that are safe, and e6 is, and e7 and e6 are covered too. So if I attack it, I don't see what it does, and indeed we win the rook. Here, I want to take the bishop, but they can take my knight. So I'd like to save my knight, and then take the bishop, because I hit their queen. I would like to not lose the rook, but I also notice there's a bunch of tension in the center, and if I just take, I can take the bishop. Um, I think my knight was defending my rook there. Here, I would like to pile up pressure on the e-file, but I also notice I have a check. This wasn't one that really came from this line of thinking. Um, here, the vulnerable spot is g2. I would like to take it, and they don't have any way to save the rook. Um, my instinct is I want to take on g6, and not only does it ruin their pawns, but it wins a rook if they take back. I would like to move my knight with a discovered check, here, the king can escape to d7, on d6 I mean, but on f6 the king does not have that escape, so that's checkmate. Here, I really want to play bishop h7 check, that's my instinct. Uh, it's not correct, I'm going to get one more point. Um, okay, so sort of thinking, what would I like to achieve, and if it doesn't lead to an immediate result, how can I make it work, I think is a useful way to spot tactics. And the things to look for for what you want to achieve are loose pieces, vulnerable king, and potentially trapped pieces. So okay, I'm going to try to go a bit faster, get a better score. Um, here I want to play queen h5 check, and it does look to be uh, mating. Is this most efficient? Yeah. 
Uh, here I would like to play queen e8 check, and it is checkmate. Here I can win the queen. We saw this one last time. Um, I want to play rook g3. I don't see a problem. Their king is very loose. Yeah. Uh, I want to take their queen, but my queen is hit, so I'm going to desperado my queen before I take theirs. I see knight g7 as a fork, and I would indeed like to win their queen. Um, I kind of want to play something like e3, discoveries potentially, but those clearly aren't working. Uh, bishop b4 looks very tempting. I don't see how they yeah, don't lose lots of material. I want to play rook h7. They can play bishop blocks, but now I can drive their king away. Um, I want to take that, but they will then take my queen. I get to take their rook after with check and then their other rook, so I'm going to go with what I wanted to do, because if I calculate a few moves further, I win material. I want to take the bishop with check, so I will. Now I think I can start bringing pieces in. Yeah, that's checkmate. I would like to take the rook, but their knight defends it, so I will drive away the defender and win one of them. I would like to take on b2. I don't see the problem. Yeah, I get their queen, I pin their queen to their king, and their rook blocks didn't help. Um, I would like to take on e2 with the rook, because it looks kind of loose, but and I can remove the defender first. I want to play queen h5 and checkmate on h7, but I think, yeah, double check, and then queen e6 is better. Um, I want to win their queen. Okay, that one didn't really fit. Uh, I can't win the queen with queen f7. Um but I can with knight e4. Uh, I want to queen my pawn. If I play d7, their rook gets behind, but then I can put my rook behind. If I play the rook first, they have the chance to get their rook back to play rook e8 and then rook d8. But if I go this way, they don't have rook e8, and then I can support with my rook. Uh, I'd like to play bishop f2 and rook takes a7. I don't see why I can't. They can give up their queen, sure. Uh, I'd like to play e4 and open a discovery on the queen, and it wins their bishop. Uh, rook f7, just a fork. Um, their knight and rook are on the same diagonal. I'd like to pin it, and I don't see how they defend it. Um, this is another one where I see pieces loose on a diagonal, and it draws me to them, and once you see it, it clearly works. Um, I don't see how they stop checkmate. Uh, bishop e6 or bishop b7. So they're going to go to e5. And if I play bishop e6, then f6 won't trap them, but if I go to b7, they'll then have the f5 escape. Therefore, I think I can play bishop e6 and then queen c5. Or bishop e7 and then queen c5, yeah. Um, I want to take on c1, and I can because I grab the bishop at the end. I would like to drive away this strong knight, f6, the knight is pinned to the queen. Um, I would like to take advantage of their open king, because my queen is checking squares, and this one does grab the bishop. I want to take that. Why can't I? I think I just can. Um, I'd like to take on b7 again. I'm just... okay, not correct. Now we're low on time. Um, can I... oh, I can discover on the queen. Yeah, totally missed that. Uh, this looks like another... Yeah. Alright, 31. Okay, now I'm going to try to get a good score and not talk as much, but hopefully that was a somewhat different approach to... So we have a fork. Um, no, sorry, queen g1. Ooh, terrible. Alright, well, to get a good score, I'm going to start over. Uh, queen g1 and knight f2. For some reason I thought knight check, then the knight comes back, because you're used to seeing the pattern starting on g4 but I didn't think about the actual position. I was just going on autopilot. And that's a mistake I make a lot and need to work on. So, okay, here we have a check pinning the pawn. Here, this is checkmate. Um, I can take on b2 and a1. I can just take the rook. I can pin the knight. I can fork. Um, let's get rid of the defender. Uh, c6 it removes the defender of b4, so they have to take, and then I can keep taking longer. Queen h8 is checkmate. Um, I should insert knight takes h6 and then take back. 
Uh, if I trade queens, my knight's no longer pinned. If I take this, they can't take back because they're pinned. Um, I think I should just take the queen and just block. Okay, weird problem. Um, bishop takes e2, removes the defender, and I don't get back ranked because I can block on f1. Uh, queen b6 checks real tempting, yep. Knight h2. Uh, their queen should be trapped. Knight a5 looks good. It's always knight a5, rook a7, or rook b8 in those kinds of positions. I can just take this, and that wins a piece, because a fork. I want to play bishop takes h2, followed by queen h4, but queen h4 first is even better, because I get the full piece instead of just winning a pawn. Um... Tempted to play bishop e4, driving away the defender of the knight. Yeah. Ooh, I'd like to checkmate here. Does g6 achieve it? Yeah, apparently so. And uh, queen f8, I think, is a prettier mate than queen h7. So here the knight and bishop are lined up in a way where I can push d4, d5, and win a piece. Uh, bishop a6 is checkmate. I can take that and checkmate. I can just take on h6. They're giving me a lot of just take things captured. Uh, it's a back rank. Uh, c5 removes the defender. That looks good. And I hit g7 at the end too, which is nice. Does bishop f4 trap the rook? No, but king f6 does. I can take on d6, because the knight was pinned. I want to take on f3. But that makes me think queen c6, but the bishop covers, so I will drive the bishop away, then play queen c6, four king d6, and f3. Uh, I can remove the defender of the queen. Again, wanted to take the queen. There was something stopping me, and so I removed the defender. And that problem was another remove the defender. Um, I guess check. Ch Ooh, not check. Check here, because checkmate, yeah. Um... Can I not just take it? Okay, cool. Uh, queen e4 forks the bishop and mate on h7. I fall for those a lot in my games. Uh, I have some problems in the Rubenstein French where I think check is best. Um, uh, rook e5 looks good. e4 followed by queen a4. Where I allow these... Um, Where I allow queen e4, forking, checkmate, and uh, and you might rook in the corner usually. Can I just take on f6? Why not? Okay. Um, b3. Yeah, attack the pinned piece. Uh, rook a1 looks good. Yeah. The deflection at the end. Uh, queen g4 threatens mate on g2, and for my knight to move with the discovery on their queen. Can I just take? Almost. Uh, maybe bishop b4 is more precise. Yeah. Um, b5, maybe rook c4, then b5. Not b5. Sure, done. Okay. Uh, so I wanted rook c3. Yeah. Um, now rook c4, and then rook a3. Okay, that one was a little tricky, but at least they didn't punish me, which was generous. Uh, so I want to take on f1, but then they have rook g2, and maybe I can play queen d1? Do I have better? I don't see it. Okay. Um, certain mate? Okay, too slow. 47, that's a pretty decent score. Um, but I do like this approach of kind of what do you want to achieve? And then don't give up on it immediately, but try to make it work. And then uh, e5 and d4, by the way, was the finish to this tactic. Um, but try to figure out what do I want to do? What's the loose piece? Or what's the uh, vulnerable king I can attack? Or is their queen trapped? And then look at the first move that might do so. And if it doesn't immediately work, calculate that extra half move further and see if you can get it to work. Or if that tells you, oh, I can't win their piece yet because they're defending it with this, can I do anything about that defense? And I think 
thinking kind of sequentially of what you learn from each idea you have, where you thought, aha, I would like to win the knight. Okay, but the knight is defended. What can I learn from that? How can that make me do something better in the position to deal with the reason why it doesn't currently work? All right, cheers.